Welcome back to Life is Strange. In the last episode, That's we. Why uh, call it a sleepover. I'm talking. We went to the beach with Chloe, and we basically just sat in a room all night watching films and shit. So not much happened in the last episode. There was lots of cutscenes. Anyway, we're supposed to go get her a morphine, which I'm very dubious about. Is she actually allowed her morphine? That's one big question I've got. Where's William? Hello, William. I saved your life, but I've ended up fucking up the world in, in the process. I apologize. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Why is that a consequence? This is also fair. I was worried I'll show you my Victoria. I was going to say, William, as I said to my audience last episode, I'm sure you agree. If you knew you was giving your life to stop Chloe being bedridden in her entire life, I'm pretty sure you would have. Let's have a look. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Yeah, this is all your fault, Max. It's acting like you're innocent in this shit. It's really pissing me off. They gave Chloe their giant expensive HDTV. And they use her shitty tube television. C-R-T. Get it right. Insurance is worthless. Yeah. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. No, it's linked to you being a bitch. I definitely have to take a third job. Ah, oh, poor William. I feel you, bruh. I'll talk to you in a second now. I wanna look at all this shit. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. Unless it's linked, though. I mean, what was if Rachel's part of this whole time travel thing? Because how did you get time travel powers? We don't know that yet. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Maybe there's a mad scientist going around who's picking girls Choices for time food travel. coupon, boss. That's one of my leading theories right now. There might be some weird. Uh, oh no. God damn, yeah, I think there might weird. be some weird side shit going on it. Blackwell. That's probably why we got the powers in the first place. They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Three thousand four hundred dollars. It costs them one thousand two hundred fifty pounds per week. I oh know that's how much they're helping to pay. All right. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Yep, trying to make money back. Oh God, let's qu quickly talk to William a minute. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. God, I know. That, that's very choppy. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Uh, reverse time of the world. What's on this one? Paris ship. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience. Especially for Chloe. But that was expensive trying to get over there. there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there. But that's not practical anymore. How oh, was it before the accident? All right. It's not fair, Max. Uh, Chloe? I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. No, it takes a fucking photograph. <coughs> and uh she mad at me for not you being a bitch. Touch. That's she should be. Enough. I have no excuse. She was disappointed, but she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, 
I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. At the cat room. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. Yeah, it's you pretty impressive, to be fair. You could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but... Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? No? So luckily in the UK we have free healthcare, so Being this is really a thing. Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Uh, Rachel Amber. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Crazy weather. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. <laughs> but all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. Yeah, she's Buffy. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Uh, the, uh, oh, can we look at them, will you? Let us look. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. Twelve grand payable. Bloody hell. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm going to say it again. If I'm given the opportunity, I am straight up swapping William for the old Chloe back. Because I don't want to see Chloe spend her entire life locked in her bed. Mm, be basically being kept alive by a ventilator. I'm pretty sure William wouldn't mind, as I've said twice now. I mean, it's his daughter. Why would, why would he say, oh, I want my daughter to be locked in a, in a prison for her entire life to save my life? Oh, let's see if we can have a gander around here. The Arcadia Bay pitch is still here. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? <laughs> that would have been funny if we walked in on the moment. Oh, we have. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Yeah, don't mind me, ma'am. I'm just gonna look around your shit. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. What does William look like, uh, Warren? William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. Yeah. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. Well, William probably. He's probably good with a camera. Hello, Joyce. Don't mind me. I'm looking around your shit. I'm sure you won't mind. Oh, no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. As we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I am committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand the reality, the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I'm proud of working with her. I just want you as parents to prepare for any and all possibility. I believe Chloe should always be more aware of her changing condition. If you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. So basically, Chloe's lungs are starting to fail. And she'll probably be, like, I don't want to say, but she'll probably be dead in a couple of years. Or a decade. What's going on with it's the blue over there? Look at bright eyes. Joyce is already a super mom. I like how Joyce is just letting me go in the drawers right next to her. I didn't mean to say that. Second, yeah, straight. Hmm. 
Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Yeah, but shit happens and she probably wants to smoke to get rid of it. God damn it. Go. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Let's ask about William. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together. I mean, it is nice, He's but been such a huge loads of shit's happened because this. of it. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Yep. Uh, what's it like, Chloe and William? Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. Uh, so that's quite fair. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Yeah, no, it's not much David Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. And we're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. Do I have to ask about David Benson? So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco havoc. Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Shall we ask about I'm gonna ask about it, fuck it. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two whales. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Yeah, everything has changed because of this bitch. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, Joyce. I'm so sorry you have to go through you all this. You put it in this situation, you fucking good, bitch. Stop acting I like every you moment with fucking my daughter like it's not your fault. This it's is pissing what it me means off. to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. I know. Things aren't as neat and tidy as they used to be. Oh, let me check the general stuff. Still one page. So William isn't the main character in this. Hey, right, hold on. Is there a picture somewhere? Let's have a look. I'm still pissed off at how bright it is over there. Right, let's look at here. Come on, open the door faster, bitch. Well, this is Chloe's old room. And it's empty. Oh, is this a cutscene? Sad cutscene. No. Yes, no, maybe. I don't know. There's a poster. What's that poster of? A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Oh, do you remember my theory in the first episode about her future leaking back into her past for her to be able to do this? 
the time travel thing. What happens if this had to happen for it to be able to time travel? Ah, oh, that'd be awesome. I guess we stopped growing up together. Yeah. No, I don't want to sit there yet. Right, let's have a sit because I'll probably be like a little cutsy thing. What she thinks. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. But you only thought of yourself. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again. Who am I to judge? But as I said, I'm pretty sure William would, would be willing to die to stop his daughter being locked in a bed for her, her whole life. Which, as we just ventured out, she doesn't have much of that left. So... It's like 20 years of Chloe's life. And being locked in a bed versus all of her life with freedom. I never heard much about William's brother. Dead in the descent of Salt Lake City, too. See the parking lot. I bet they see you guys can read it. There we go. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know, the story of money is nobody's favourite thing. Maybe, maybe I can come next spring for a visit. Your brother Aaron. Yep. There's a box. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Open it, no one's up here. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Yeah, but that didn't happen. And hopefully, we can reverse time at some point. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Right, let's have a look. Thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I am so sorry that I can't help you with the loan at this time. Like everybody else, I am underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug and my best wishes, Aunt Dorothy. Alright, so this room's done. I like how they're just letting us walk around the house. It's funny. Right, son. I think we're gonna get in trouble for uh How's it going, time tripper? It's funny. I think I look older. Well I mean, have you still been aging when you've been rewinding time? So if you rewind time by like twenty minutes, are you still twenty minutes older? Just back in time. Cause I don't because it's local and it you keep all the stuff on you that you've collected, so you as yourself must remain a constant while everything around you reverses in time. Or am I thinking too deep about these people? Am I scaring you, people, in the chat? Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. I still don't think we should be doing the morphine without the asking. bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. I don't think the morphine's a good thing. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. I think a parent should be giving her the morphine. Nothing here. Morphine's dangerous. If you don't know what you're doing with it. Oh man, I've already got up. I've just thought of a pun. I can't wait to I can't wait to do it. Hold on. Wait, is the door open? Can I go into the garden? <gasps> yeah. The house looks so great. William finally had the time to paint the house and fix up the garden. Oh, look at all the dead birds. Why are they in the trash Look at all these dead birds. It's happening here, too. Are you going to stick that one in the bin? Or am I, oh, I've tried on it. Oh, sorry, birdie. Hey, there the butterflies. Oh, the dog still died there. I'm sorry, Bongo Kitty. But... You passed on before I changed this reality. Oh wait, no, was it a cat? I think it might have been a cat, I can't remember. Chloe actually moved our drawing so she could see it from her room. 
Yep. Chloe. Who was this? Oh man. The swing is gone now. Yeah. It must have been sad. I'm glad Chloe gets a room with a view. I I everything out here is done. I can't find any picture opportunities. I mean let me have a look. Out Richie. Right. The first one's a window, but what window? There's nothing in front of the window. There's a bird's nest and a thingy. Yeah. Let's go back in here. Hey, Chloe. It's morphine time. Finally. Uh, give uh, me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. <sighs> I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Okay, okay. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Ever. So I keep checking to see if there's anything in the diary because I keep. Oh, keep missing out of the diary. Oh, what's in the drawer? Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. Straight A. She could have gone to any college. Gutless bastard. I am so glad Chloe stole your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. Shit. Is there a job we can open? Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. Yep. If I get the opportunity, I'm still undoing all the shit you've just fucking done, you bitch. And I'll still treat you like it happened as well. Okay, I was gonna end it then, but I'm gonna keep it going a little bit longer this episode. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Turn the page. Why have I got to turn the page? Can't I just make it inside a cutscene? For fuck's sake. Oh, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh, sorry, why does it keep letting me do that? Is there other options? No, just turn the page. Why does it keep doing that then? Just make it a cutscene. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. This isn't how I wanted it to end. I wanted just normal saying? pirate Chloe back from back in the day. I'm saying I don't want Chloe that's forced to live so in a bed. Special. 
She, I she just has no wanted freedom. to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible. And you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. No, I'm not the murderer. Oh my god, no, I'm not gonna kill her. Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't. Kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. But there must be some way to, we could control time to save her rather than killing her. You're just bailing on me, like everybody else. God, this game gives you so many tough choices. Why don't you go now? No, in this game, that was You've fucking the wrong choice to, to say that. You've been since you got here, right? So go, and don't come back. Chloe. I am never leaving you again. God fucking damn it. Sorry, William. Yes, do we get to kill William? Uh, that said really bad what I just said. Got that trouble with this last time, it won't focus properly. I'm not focusing. I'm sure when we focus on this time last on this last time there was an auto focus that we can do. Yeah, hold space, there we go. Someday dad'll get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello. So my theory, the first hey, one was honey. right that what that oh, Max is essentially responsible for sending to his death at this point. <laughs> Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon. Of course, because of how time works as well, like that wheelchair Chloe never existed. She's never leaving me. We removed her from existence. Which, if you think about it logically, isn't fate worse than death for that Chloe, but. But I'd rather Max, she never existed so than spent strange. left in the thing. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. 
even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Where is that going to change anything what we've just said to her? Yeah, but then what's just been remade has been unmade. Back to old Chloe. So I'm paying close to what's up to these pictures because there might be clues in it. So yeah, that's gone. Why is there loads of stuff on the thingy for? Is this David Manson looking over his shit? No? Yes? No? Hello? Oh no. Chloe! You're back! Whoa, whoa, down Max. You get one kiss and now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. Wait, wasn't we back in our apartment? You though? sound high, but uh, thanks sorry, for sorry. the morning grow. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. Uh, I'm just spaced out too. God. Welcome back this to is the is Ah. Uh, I'm so relieved that we just undid all that. That's what was pissing me off for all these days that I had to take break for. I'm glad that this is back. I'm glad we're back to this part now. All the characters matter again that we've discovered. Ah, oh, let's get off of this bed. the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. But I'm relieved. I'm gonna. This is a good time to end the episode. It's a high note. So, uh, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, I did. I really like this outcome. We're back to the old world because I would rather we have this world, that, this fucked up world than a Chloe that's got no freedom. So yeah, hit the like button and if you want to see more Life is Strange, you should have a choice anyway, hit the subscribe. Bye bye. That's very beautiful. Because I'm seagulls. Those seagulls aren't big enough. They're like cats in the UK.